What's up, YouTube? First and foremost, shout out to Alien Army. Raise up, stand up, hit a comment. Well, drop a comment and definitely hit a like. If you don't know what Alien Army is, this is my little intros type spill. Alien Army is people that rock with me heavy, rock with me tough by always hitting the, the like button and also uh, always uh, dropping a comment. I understand you don't always know what to put as a comment, especially if this is one of your first times watching my video. Drop an alien emoji, put a wave, put a hi, checking in, checking in. You know, even Alien Army members do that and I, I think that's pretty cool. We'll jump into today's topic um, real quick. If you don't know, I am homeless i do live in my car i got videos explaining that uh, <laughs> uh it is hot <laughs> it is really really hot and uh, when i'm uh, filming here i can't have the air conditioner on well i do but it's i have it towards the bottom so uh yeah it's getting hot already and i'm only 55 seconds in well you know but uh nonetheless um today's uh today's video is going to be um terrence howard and uh well i'm gonna name i think i'm gonna name this terrence howard homeless encouragement uh, real quick, if you don't know who, who uh, Terrence Howard is, um, he was on Hustle and Flow, very great actor. I believe he was on a, uh, one of the Iron Mans as well. <clears throat> uh, he's done tons of movies. I can't think uh, off the top of my name, uh, well, off the top of my head, all of, the, all of them, but he's a phenomenal actor, uh, to say the least. And uh, what I'm going to be actually reviewing is, is he did an interview with Joe Rogan, which is uh, Joe Rogan uh, number 2152, so 2,152. And he's done a lot of interviews. Um, and it's really, really important. So, like, don't skip this stuff or anything like that. I probably shouldn't tell you that. I mean, if you have your own mind. But uh, so this is just this is going to be more than an encouragement. Um, I'm going to be talking about the video, and I'm going to be giving some uh, some really good advice, I believe. Right. <sighs> to jump straight in is uh, yeah. If you've never seen, if you haven't seen this video, the video uh, that I'm talking about, the Joe Rogan number two one five two, came out uh, I think three days ago. It's already at three and a half million. Um, it's it's rising really really quick because what what he talks about that uh, talks about in there is a extremely um, uh, you know cool man. It's more than cool. Uh, it's phenomenal discoveries. I believe that uh, most of everything he said was the truth, and that it is applicable. So like if you haven't seen it, watch my video, watch his, and then maybe you'll have an open more open mind and um, you know can see what's going on. Um, the first things first. So he starts off the video strong, man. Um, He's talking about his earliest remember, uh, memories, his six months uh, inside his mom's belly, and it's, uh, you know, he's got memories why he's being a fetus, and I think Joe Rogan did a great job by not laughing at that. I mean, I, me just saying it right now makes me want to laugh. Um, I don't think that, so this, this, this is going to be, uh, you know, encouragement and advice. Uh, I don't think he should have said that, man. Um, why I don't think you should say that is is that it it very com it comes off very unbelievable, and it also more than it just coming off unbelievable, it can be things that you, things that you're saying can and will be used against you, uh, especially if somebody wants to paint a picture that you're crazy. Like how can we uh, how can we talk uh, how can we talk about your techno uh, you know your your applicable. Um, uh, technologies or you know your theories of um you know uh the, the shapes and the stuff that you, you, you're going into and uh the details of the frequencies of uh, the periodic table you know these are all things that he uh, brought up and i believe that he explained that all to be really really well um uh, you know his uh his theories and uh the stuff he's got like i think he said 99 patents i'll talk i'll touch on that in a minute but um uh so I don't think you should have uh, jumped out the gate like that. I understand that would catch somebody and make them listen more and get you more views. Um, but a person that's in your position that is, um, you know, quote unquote, going against the grain of, uh, of uh, you know, what is, quote unquote, the norm, sci uh, you know, uh, science, right? Um, and, uh, you know, basically, you know, going against the Scientology, not, not Scientology religion, but going against that kind of science, uh, you know, some rules you can bend, others you can break, and you putting a very good perspective on something that actually really went ahead and, and did very well. You know what I'm saying? And I'll, and I'll talk, uh, I'll go into detail about that, but just bear with me here on this. <clears throat> so, I don't think you should have talked, uh, saying what your earliest uh, memories are. I think that can, and, uh, you know, if somebody wanted to, <clears throat> paint you as a uh, you know quote unquote crazy person or somebody you know like that they would um i also think that you're 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 lacking uh, quite a bit when you know his, his phone keeps uh, like restarting uh, inside uh, this interview <clears throat> on top of that uh if you've watched joe rogan you know who jamie is jamie like pull, pulls everything up on the computer and you know he gets links and emails and like um information before uh, a guest comes on there and sometimes during the, the interview somebody will be like hey will you look this up for me something that uh wasn't already written down for jamie even his computer started messing up from just watching um watching videos on his uh on his website i mean and he's you know 
kind of making jokes a little bit, him and Joe Rogan, like, have you ever dropped your phone before, you know, with somebody listening, uh, and stuff like that, and then, you know, of course, he, you know, if you think that is going on, it's definitely, uh, most likely it, it is, if those people are doing that much, if you're talking about your earliest remember, uh, memories is being a fetus six months and being shown a, um, a, uh, a more of a 3D version of the, uh, what you, uh, you know, what you, um, hold closer to the periodic table, <clears throat> you know, you, you talking like that, um, you know, it's easy for them to go ahead and maybe, um, uh, you know, uh, like basically, uh, put you down, make you look, make you look crazy, make you look unbelievable, make, you know, let people try to debunk it. Like, you know, if, uh, it, it just doesn't come off cool. And I don't want to drive that point on too much, but I, I, I do want to put that point out there. Um, the next thing, is you wanting Neil Neil deGrasse? Uh, he goes ahead and says that um, on his, before his book was done, or maybe his book was done, but he get um, he get Neil deGrasse. Uh, we don't know who he is. Uh, he's uh, uh, I believe a um, uh, astrology uh, astrology uh, uh, something physics. Uh, physicist, uh, astrology phys a physicist or something like that, and I'm messing it up. Uh, what's crazy is, is before I turn the camera on, I, I think about this, like, in my head a little bit, like, on this particular topic, and all of it's clicking good. I turn the camera on, and uh, I'm already messing up on my words, but, um, you know, uh, that's just how I am, you know, one shot, one, uh, you know, just, just doing it, uh, you know, straight up. Um, <clears throat> now I lost my point. <laughs> okay. Neil deGrasse uh, is a uh, he gave his first chapter of his book to him, and uh, it came back with a bunch of red writing all over from Neil deGrasse. Um, this is alleged, quote unquote, uh, you know, that he was, um, you know, very, uh, uh, very, uh, very much against uh, what he talked about with Tesla, um, you know, Nikola Tesla in there. He talked about um, his uh, his theories and, uh, you know, basically a uh, introduction with um, some of the stuff that he's got going on. And I believe he said his first page was the periodic table that, um, you know, that. Uh, shows wavelengths and stuff like that and what are the different you know like what are the differences with that periodic table uh you know against stars and when he explains how how it all works especially with the frequencies it all makes sense it it it, it uh it's um it's very revolutionary in the aspect of this. I know that somebody in the 1920s uh, talked about it. So it, it, he's not, he's saying he's not basing his work on that, but uh, but he is using him as a reference and definitely uh, that periodic table is the same one that's in this book as far as I understand. <clears throat> everything's alleged and everything I'm saying is, is for entertainment purposes only. Um, it does make sense, absolutely, with frequencies. Um, you know, uh, the frequency of microwave is what actually heats the food up by making something vibrate so much that it, it heats up according to uh, stuff I've heard and read, right? The same thing with frequencies is the same thing as Wi-Fi, um, you know, uh, 2.4 gigahertz. Same thing that used to run on uh, uh, portable phones, you know what I mean? You couldn't have your portable phone uh, near it. Um, you know frequencies and electricity go together there's a lot of discoveries that can be done with that and a lot of people oh that the word i was thinking was debunk like if somebody wants to debunk him that's probably one of the first things they're going to say how can we take this guy serious he thinks that his very first memory is um you know somebody talking to him his, his higher self and showing him um all sorts of stuff could that be true maybe i mean i i, I wouldn't rule it out but it in my opinion it's very un uh, unlikely and i i understand i believe that you believe it put it that way. Now, does that mean that you're crazy or anything like that? No. Um, you could have had some kind of spiritual awakening, uh, as an adult and remember something like that. I, uh, but I believe that you believe that and I, that's probably the smallest thing that I'm, I'm going to, um, critique you on is I don't think you should say that stuff. Um, I don't think it's uh, irrelevant to what you're doing. Um, talking about it will probably just be used against you and I think that what you brought up uh, with, with all your discoveries and all your patents is uh, is phenomenal and I believe that there, there's a lot of stuff that you can uh, create with that stuff right <coughs> so um, jumping into it uh, I don't think you need Neil deGrasse to tell you anything I don't think you need um, the people that you said that you wanted like in, in the interview you're talking about um you know, like you would love for Neil deGrasse to come back and give you, um, you know, uh, his thoughts and stuff like that. I think that's a horrible idea. One, I think Neil deGrasse is a plant. I think he's somebody who um, is going to uh, get you off of uh, off the target that you're trying to, uh, you know, like uh, accomplish. Right. Also, on top of that, is if he didn't do that stuff, he, uh, in my opinion, comes off as somebody who's bought and paid for. Like, if if he came across a great um, discovery that you did he'd be sure to, to destroy that stuff. 
And let's say, for example, that he is right, like, um, uh, excuse me, uh, Terrence Howard is very uh, right with everything that he said, especially when it comes to uh, uh, anti-gravity, gravity, and uh, the ether, and uh, talking about, um, you know, actually making, um, you know, uh, separating uh, H2O, and I believe it was, it was H2O, H2O being able to split that and actually getting plasma from that, and that, that plasma could actually be a fuel uh, of some sort, if I got that correct, you know. Um, definitely watch the video. Uh, I didn't write those notes. This is just off the top of my head, and I watched the video uh, last night, and then I watched some of it uh, two days ago, so when it first came out. <coughs> um, you don't need somebody to validate you. Um, you should have some people that you work with. I don't think you should work with those people. I think that if you were to uh, want somebody to look at your research, I think you should do it in a, in a way that um, is uh, unorthodox. You know, what about, the, what about Bob Lazar? What about him actually taking a look at this stuff? I understand that it might not be his field of expertise, but Bob Lazar, um, you know, uh, knows quite a bit. You know what I mean? Uh, I believe that a lot of your discoveries and the way that you were able to do this kind of like research and development, I'm sorry if uh, the camera's getting a little bit dark, it's clouds that are covering over the sunshine, which I, I know that you can see that. <coughs> but uh, I would suggest you um, talk to somebody like Bob Lazar, See if he's interested in, in uh, learning some of this. Oh, not learning. Uh, having having a brainstorming where you present this stuff. Not everybody that you meet, you should go the full length and tell them everything about it, right? Maybe some of these people is, should be carb, uh, compartmentalized where it's like, hey, let's let's take this um, research and development stuff uh, uh, to the next level and actually let's come up with a prototype. And I should back up for a second because I'm going to talk about that in a minute. But you should have unorthodox people that are on your team. And I believe that one of the reasons why you've got so far with um, your discoveries is because you've used, um, a, you, uh, you've uh, utilized, not, not the word use, you've utilized um, uh, programmers, right? You've talked about that on, on there. The way that he was able to go ahead and um, develop a Saturn without gravity and showing that uh, in, a, um, in, in its full process, right? That was, uh, that was very groundbreaking. I believe that uh, that uh, there there is not just something to it that there's a lot to what he's saying and what he's doing, right? Could he have, you know, if let's say for example this video got really big and it got viral or something like that, is this all his own um, uh, creations and theories and stuff like that? I don't know. I know that he references other people. I'm not here saying that, uh, but I am saying what he's talking about. It doesn't matter if he, you know, got some of this from here, here, and here, or he is copying somebody's work. I don't believe that to be true, but what do I know, right? There's a lot of those books and a lot of stuff that they talk about I've never read before, never heard before, but why I think it actually, um, I can see how it's uh, not just probable, that it's extremely probable is um, my background of uh, becoming a, well, me computer programming if uh you watched my videos before i talked about it i learned uh, uh tons of different programming languages before the age of 12 and i continued doing it for a very long time a lot of the stuff i'm self-taught on and then also i uh, i did get books and read uh why I was already at a certain point. Um, I did Visual Basic 3.0 to 6.0 Enterprise. Um, QBasic is what I first started off with, QBasic, and that was on uh, MS-DOS. Uh, I talked about that. Python is very, very, very good. Um, you know, uh, that's what I used a whole lot, especially because I was, you know, rocking with that on Linux. So you can make your life a lot easier making applications on Linux with Python. <coughs> All right, so. And I'm already sweating, dude. <laughs> and it's uh, only like 13 minutes in here. And it's it's hot and I can't have my air on right now while I do this video. Otherwise, you'll hear too much noise. But I think this is a very important video. So I think that you should be very careful. Like, you're not coming off very street smart, man. And I don't know if that if, if it was because you're comfortable in an interview or you don't have street smarts. I don't know everything about uh, Terrence Howard. Um, but I would tell you, you need to be very vigilant. You need to be hyper vigilant. You need to keep your head on a shoulder, uh, especially moving forward with um, you wanting to discover more and finding more applicable ways and maybe even doing a prototype of some of the stuff that you came out across. If you were to, 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 to do that, what I would suggest is uh, looking into the, um, uh, the lightning in the bottle that you talked about. I would uh, definitely tell you gravity uh, and anti-gravity, the way that you were explaining how, how gravity works and how um, the, the regular science people, you know, gravity to them is God. And I do, I do catch that concept. I do understand what you're talking about with that. Um, you know, 
and then basically I really like his approach of you know equal and opposite force so if you know how gravity works then you know, should know how to, to make it anti-gravity and I believe that has a lot to do with the electricity and then I also believe it has to do a lot with frequency right so um, I did write some of the stuff so um, plasma lasers I would tell you that's what you know, prototype that you need to do uh, lightning in a bottle Pro, uh, pro, uh, you know, uh, prototype that as well, and I'm gonna, you know, this is the encouragement part, right? Gravity and anti gravity, um, electricity with frequency, uh, research and development, uh, you know, see how you can push the envelope with these things, not just theoretically on a piece of paper or a program, um, running the, um, you know, uh, running what it you know what it projected uh, to, to look like actually making the stuff right in front of you you know what i'm saying <clears throat> um after doing that you're going to learn a whole lot from that you're going to learn more about that than having a conversation and Neil degrassi as far as i'm concerned wouldn't have a straight conversation with you to begin with right um you will learn more than more more about actually putting getting your hands on it you know boots on the ground right you would learn more about that <clears throat> and then you would see okay it's applicable for this but then i also learned this and I, it can be applicable for this as well there's a lot of way a lot of you know there's a, a term there's a lot of way to, to skin a cat you know what i'm saying um you will learn a lot more by doing that then on top of that before you release any of that kind of stuff you have to also understand if somebody was to use this for not so good intentions, what would they do? Then at that point, so, you know, if somebody wanted to weaponize, um, you know, uh, the way that you could, uh, you know, create a plasma or a, an ion or whatever, right? If they, how could they do that? <clears throat> then think to yourself, is this safe to talk about in the, you know, and also more than just it being safe, like, <clears throat> Uh, if it, you know, if it's something that can be, you know, used um, in not such a good way, maybe figure out a way that you build it so it can't be used in that, in that kind of way. But you all, but the, the one of the biggest things is you really have to watch the company that you're going to have around, man. You know, if Neil deGrasse calls you and, he, and you, you talked about after that first chapter, he, he was talking about um, before you get it to him that he wanted you on uh, his podcast. Um, and now he won't even accept your phone calls. If later he starts calling you and wanting to talk about it, well, that means somebody tapped him on the shoulder to, to get you close. Think about what happened to Easy. Think about what happened to Charlie Sheen. And think about why Michael Jordan is still alive. But those the, the, those other people are, uh, aren't. You know, if you if your stuff is that groundbreaking and somebody wants to, you know, everybody's touchable. You know what I'm saying? So you really should have your head on a swivel. Um, you know, you should, uh, you know, it shouldn't uh, stop you from doing this at all. You should continue it. Um, you should talk to people like Bob Lazar. Shit, I'm, I'm homeless living in my car, and there's a lot of stuff that I could actually help help you with, and I'm not doing this because I want something out of it. If you were, if you were like, hey, alien, you know, I like how, I liked the way you, you give me that advice. Let's work on something and blah, blah, blah. I'd totally be down. Uh, I actually had a video talking about some of this stuff before. I really would love to uh, help uh, somebody come across, um, you know, how zero point energy works. <clears throat> and it doesn't even have to be 100% zero point energy. Let's say, um, you know, we were able to come up with um, gasoline instead of it, you know, in a regular Honda Civic like I'm living in, uh, giving, you know, getting me 30 miles a, a gallon or whatever. What if there was a way to actually make it give me 200 miles? You know, evidently there's patents that, uh, you know, uh, Supposedly, there's patents out there that, that can do that. <clears throat> of course, it's been shut down. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, research and development, you know, apl applicable applications. Uh, you'd have to worry about being infiltrated, and that's why uh, maybe I'd be a good fit for you. Because I'm not bought and not paid for, man. I'm just some I'm just some homeless dude trying to, you know, try and, uh, you, know, uh, you know, document my journey and, uh, you know, trying to get over... Uh, uh, quite a few humps i don't drink or do drugs just to throw that out there everybody knows that that watches my channel i'm a small channel anyways um but uh yeah that's what i would tell you to do man um watch your company don't take it for uh granted i would also uh, encourage you to do other podcasts and watch who's around you uh, at all times i would tell you to get on a show called coast to coast i'm not sure if it's around anymore but uh, i had uh, art, art labelle i believe and uh they they talk about this kind of stuff i think that those platforms but instead of just going around and talking about what, what you have right now why don't you just jump into the prototype part why don't you actually think what do i need who do i need uh you know not just who do i need but who do i need and what kind of people i want on my team to actually make all this stuff very uh you know very um you know like 
get the ball in motion to actually do new stuff. Not just sit around and talk about your discoveries that you have now. Let's go ahead and actually start discovering stuff. And I think that would be totally dope. Um, real quick, uh, if you want to show love or you want to bless me, my cash app is the same as my YouTube name, Alien Ascend. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, um, you know, uh, like I said, hit the like button, drop a comment. And then also, um, if you have questions, I do respond to them. Don't worry about the sneeze. <sighs> <laughs> yes, if you're wondering, aliens do sneeze because I just did. <laughs> uh, I'm not even going to cut that out. I'll keep it in one take. Uh, but nonetheless, I have a lot of videos. Go check them out. You know, I, uh, I'm a small channel. Even if I get really big, I do respond to 99.9% .9 of my comments. So I want to thank you guys so much.